Welcome back to Pisces TV with Montana B. This is your finance reading Pisces and we are using our Angel of Abundance Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue. Okay. Now as we get started, all of my returners, I appreciate your continued support. All of my tarot students and business course clients, definitely appreciate you and proud of all of your success. If you are interested in any coaching, okay, in tarot courses, starting a YouTube channel, or just an online business, a second stream of income, I may be able to help with that. In the description box, there is a link to my Etsy store. All of my products, services, and courses are listed there. My email address if you want something customized, as well as the uh, Patreon link if you're interested in the extended to this video. Our Patreon platform is where we are on the other side. Here on YouTube, we do have the member section, the merchandise. So check out the uh, winter wear, okay? All of the Metastar sweaters and whatnot. And we have the community board where I post a lot of the classes, courses. Uh, some of our Pisces TVNs have their own channels and I list that information there. The products and services you can see up close and personal and any of the coupon codes, discounts, or daily specials will be there. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I do update quite frequently. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell to receive all of the alerts so that you don't miss out. As we get started, we're going to start with the Oracle cards. I hope you all are enjoying this beautiful Virgo moon, however that is uh, resonating with you. Okay, here we have your first card, Gratitude List. Your second card, Unlimited Ideas. And the last card which comes with a dual message of uh, face your financial fears and letting go of guilt. Okay. Some of us, we can even exercise to increase our energy and manifestation abilities. And the first card I saw before I even started the video was pay yourself first. Okay. So that may run hand in hand with something. I'm going to sit this let go of guilt over here as our bonus card. And we'll go over that. But let's get started with the gratitude list. What have you already manifested? Or, I mean, it doesn't even have to be something that you've already manifested. I appreciate sometimes that things didn't go worse. Okay? But counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosities of the universe. So let's see if she goes into details, honey, with that gratitude list. Okay, definitely love that. It's kind of like a wish list, I think. And I feel with making a gratitude list, you will help attract more of what you're already grateful for. Some of you, it'll just release the anxieties and take your mind off of the worries because you could be fixated on that and we are in virgo moon virgo is a very earthy grounded harmonious energy but different from pisces because we we are polar opposites where pisces may like to you know kind of chill let things happen and you know be in the water of consciousness virgo is a go go get it energy and i always think of beyonce and all of my virgo friends and some of you have even posted in the moon video if you hadn't checked it out it is on the um under the video tab but some of you said that you're spring cleaning already or can't stay still and all that so making that gratitude list like i said kind of fixate your energy on what you already do like and getting more of what you like and off of what you don't so you guys drew this card because the angels want to point you in the direction of gratitude Perhaps you've slipped into a habit of worrying or complaining about finances. These negative energies only attract more problems. So one of the fastest and most effective ways to shift to a higher vibration is to focus upon what you do have instead of what you think you don't have. Take a moment to make a gratitude list, naming everyone and everything that you are grateful for. You can write, speak, or think each entry ideally make a gratitude list daily or more often you'll soon realize how fortunate you are and your positive thoughts will attract more for you to be grateful about so be honest because a lot of you are exactly where you want to be and i know that others of you are getting there and some may be still trying to figure it out but be honest 
do you think of what you have and what you like more than what you want and what you don't have? And if you didn't say yes, then this is your reading, okay? In the center where it talks about unlimited ideas, maybe that's why we're making a list. Because we can read between the lines and be flexible. If for you it's not a gratitude list and sources like do not be flexible, do that gratitude list. <laughs> but we have unlimited ideas and so I feel intuitively with unlimited ideas that's the perfect energy to to start writing because it's like you think so much and oh my gosh so much stuff is coming to you so many thoughts um or the capacity for that so start writing them down okay the card reads your mind is one with god's infinite mind therefore you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings all you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come into filtration. So some of you guys, you have a list in your mind. And maybe that is a ritual of taking it out of your mind, out of the spirit world, putting it into the physical by simply writing it down on a piece of paper. It's like you bring it into life by writing it. And so I love Erica Badu, one of our Pisces. She said that she's an analog girl in a digital world. And regardless of the technology, there is still an essence in writing or, you know, how some people do vision boards and stuff like that. If you can't go out and purchase something right now, um, you can, you know, put a picture of it on your phone, um, on your screensaver or draw it or write it, you know, on the calendar. I don't know. But this card comes to you now to remind you that your imagination is boundless and is the gateway to all of your abundant desires. Sometimes we come to the belief that it's simply make-believe and has no basis in reality. The angels of abundance want you to know that the human imagination is responsible for so many wonderful achievements. After all, your mind is one with the infinite mind of God. This card is a sign that your ideas are divinely inspired. Perhaps you've dreamed of an invention that could help others or a product or service you wish was available. You can manifest these ideas into reality by focusing upon one step at a time. What's one action that you can take to uh, today related to your idea? The angels of abundance want you to develop an active imagination as they will use this tool to help bring abundance to you now. You will receive flashes of insight and wonderful epiphanies. You can even use your infinite imagination to take your visualization techniques to new heights. Every wonderful invention, product, or service was once an idea that someone received. They had the courage to act on this idea, and the angels are urging you to have courage as well. With each step you take, you'll gain confidence and clarity. Okay, definitely love that. And here we have face those financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. Um, and you will realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with the release of these self-doubts. So for some of us, it's actually financial fear. Others of us, it could be fear of failure. Like, I'm so adamant. I'm so determined. I'm so, you know, in control that oh, if I just can't guarantee that I get it, I just, you know, whatever, overanalyze it, self-sabotage it, whatever. And we're not doing that. So we face the worst. Okay, what if I do fail? Now what? Nothing. All right, and move past that anxiety because you may never even have to honestly face to face with that. It's just getting over the thought of, okay, because that's what anxiety does. It makes you think of situations that haven't even happened yet. And for some of us, because I'm a human and I've experienced things, sometimes those fears may be brought from past events, past life. You know how it feels. For something to not go as planned and you for some reason anticipate that over um, it actually happening and your angels are saying we're aware of that stop doing that because you could be manifesting that and let go of that experience 
let go of that fear okay so dear one this card comes to you because the angels see how your unconscious anxieties have pushed away abundance deep down you worry whether you deserve to receive abundance in addition you've been struggling with fear both of failure and of success and i have heard somebody say that fear and success um, which has kept you stuck in indecision and inaction. Fortunately, once you admit those fears to yourself, they lose their powers to unconsciously control you. Perhaps it's helpful for you to hear that every person struggles with self-doubt. The human ego is the sign. And I wanted to say emperor. When I said we're so in control, I just held back emperor. But the ego is designed to keep uh, people afraid and prevent them from fulfilling their divine destiny. Thankfully, you are blessed with the gift of self-awareness. You can take an honest inventory of your thought processes and admit that you have sometimes sabotaged your own success. These realizations are ensuring that you no longer allow yourself to be intimidated. Your decisions are guided by love and not fear. Definitely love that. And like I said, we'll go over that bonus card. In the extended Pisces. So for the current energy, like I said, the gratitude list, writing, making an adjustment. See? So we start your finance reading with the justice card, making an adjustment. Um, and baby, I got the, the king of pentacles, so why not? I'm going to sit him here. And this is where we leave off. Until next time, Pisces. Namaste.